There's a new generative AI tool that can help you create images with text, which is insane because you can now create t-shirt designs, logos, posters, stickers, name it with just one prompt with almost the perfect text. Just to give a bit of context, before now, this is the kind of images you get from tools like Midjourney when you need an image with text. So in this video, I will show you how to use this tool. And by the way, the tool is currently free and the images that you generate from these tools can be used commercially as well, which is a game changer. So the name of the tool is called Ideogram. So you come to ideogram.ai and it's going to open up to this page and then you could sign up. Some people are saying that there is a wait list, but when I signed up, there was no wait list. I was immediately brought into the dashboard. So let me just log in. So once you sign up, you'll be greeted with this page. I like how simplistic this is. So let me just do a quick walkthrough so you understand what you're looking at. So this is the text box that you're going to type in your prompts like we have in Mid Journey. So these are different styles you could choose from based on the type of image you want to generate. And then it has three aspect ratios, 10 by 16, one by one, which is a perfect square, 16 by 10. So these are just the three aspect ratios it has now. I'm sure they would provide more aspect ratio with time. Come in here where you have, we have recent trending following and top. So recent are where um, images that are recently been generated by people. As you can see, people are really using this and testing it out very fast. Just to give you a bit of an idea when it comes to text. So this is one. So this says little dreamers. And one good thing is when you click on any image here, it shows you the prompt. And here you could actually share. Here you could download. And here you could remix if you want to generate similar images based on this. So here you could see the four images that has been generated. And you could go ahead and choose the one you like and then download as you deem fit okay so that is for the recent and then we have trending so trending is just like images that are getting a lot of views based off of how good the images look so you could see that these images look really stunning like it's almost as close as as mid journey this is insane now so you could see that the text on these images are quite clear so you could see this one that says joe biden this is dog and cat so you can basically create your stickers posters just with one prompt and it has the letters written out perfectly so you could see a sticker here that was generated that says teacher so this is a game changer in the sense that it saves you a whole lot of time. And for people who are not quite very savvy when it comes to artistic designs, this could be just a perfect starting point for you to use to create your images quickly, as quickly as possible. So this is the last one I will just review and then we would play around with it a bit. So know why? So sometimes it generates um, something weird. You might have to regenerate a couple of times to get the text right so you can see i know why try which is really cool let's test this out so coming up i'll be testing a couple of designs t-shirt designs logo designs and stickers and feel free to play around you know with other designs that you want to test out so for the t-shirt design so i'm just going to paste this so i said script typography with text to tell the ai that you need to use text you just say with text then you put in like a comma and say good vibes only so i'm going to just choose typography for this and i will just let me just choose illustration and see what it's going to give us so since this is a t-shirt design what we could do is we'll leave it as one by one aspect ratio and click on generate and then it's going to load the four images here so at, at this point you just have to generate the images one after the other or what you could also do is while this is loading you could type in more here and hit generate but i just want this to finish up okay so as you can see this this is done good vibes only this is not bad this didn't come out so well good vibes so assuming I like this design and I want to remix it. So what you need to do is just to click here that says remix 
And then we could, for example, let's just remove the typography, you know, the illustration and click on generate. And it's going to use that image as a reference to generate a new image. So let's just wait and see what it's going to generate for us. So this is done generating, guys. This is really cool. This can pass for any t-shirt design. Like you don't need to do anything again with this. Let's see. This look really cool. I like this first one. So assuming you like this, just click here and it's going to download immediately to your computer. And that is it. So let's try out a couple of other prompts as well and see what it's going to give us so i'm going to generate something around the logo and i'm going to use the zini studio so let's see what it's going to do so i'll just so i'll remove this i wanted to write out zini studio in an artistic way so i'll use typography and i'm going to use 3d render just to see what it's going to do and we're going to hit generate wow this is really really cool zini studio yeah so you could see it generated sometimes it didn't generate it just generated the studio alone and zini alone but this is really perfect let's play with one more prompt then i'll show you some other ones that i've generated and also show you where these images we are creating have been saved in case you want to refer back to them so i'll just clear this prompt the last prompt that i'll be testing would be that of stickers so i'm going to do a sticker in relation to the fall season so i will paste cartoon pumpkin with text that says pumpkin spice so it's a sticker so it's an illustration as well so let me just remove this and then we will choose so i'll remove this typography here i will choose illustration let's see cinematic let's see what it's going to do and then we click on generate okay so as you can see you just generated pumpkin spice with the borders already for your stickers so all you need to do is take out the background and you're good to go so this is another one this is another one this this tool is really a game changer so if you don't like any of these like i said you could always remix and see what it's going to generate for you and you could try out different styles to see what the images are going to look like so while this is being generated let me show you where the images are stored so just click on your name okay and you would see all the images you have generated so once you click into those images you would see the four options that i showed earlier on so let's see what it generated the second time and see if there's something that is nice this is not bad pumpkin spice even though the letter here seems a little bit off, but you can always fix this with, you know, tools like Adobe Illustrator or even in Photoshop. So these look really nice. I like this. This looks really nice. Okay, so let me just show you other ones that I created when I was testing it out. I got so excited. So this is one else that I created, Zini Studio. I love this. Then I, I was testing out some Christmas, Merry Christmas designs that you could use for your shirt or you could use for ornaments or different things so let me just click into one so you could see see how stunning these images are so you also need to pay attention to hands because this ai tool sometimes the hands can be a little bit weird but these look really nice let me look at the one that I had texts in it. So this is one, even though here you can see that the text is weird. So here I said t-shirt design and I put in the different characteristics that I wanted. But let's see if there's one. Merry Christmas. It's not so clear. This says Merry, but you could always remix and definitely you would get one with the right text. This is essentially how the tool works and it's quite very easy to use so what you would do after you have downloaded this image so let's download just one of the images and we're going to use it to test what, what i'm going to show you next so let me use a very clear image so here i'm just going to click on download and it's going to download to my computer the next thing that you need to do would be to take away the background from this image normally in mid journey when we have images like this we normally upscale it before start using it but this time around you don't need to do that 
for this image even though the quality is not that high but i'll show you what to do so you just come into clip drop i think i've covered clip drop in my previous um video so once you come to clip drop and obviously it's free to use you could go to background remover or to remove background just select the image so let me just select the image that we just downloaded so this is the image and i'll click open and then we'll just say remove background and it automatically removes the background for you okay you can see how this this looks really really perfect and once the image is done just click on download and it's going to download to your computer the next thing would be because so this design is supposed to be a shared design or you could depending on the type of design you are creating but for a shared design you will like your images to be vectorized so you can scale them to any size that you want so you could just come into vectorizer.ai and click then we're going to put in that image that we just removed the background then it's going to process it it's going to convert it to vector okay as you can see this is our original image by the left and it's a bit blurred and you can see the vectorized image on the right and once you zoom in you can see the difference right this is blurred out or grainy while this is extremely clear you could zoom out so let me zoom out a little bit okay so once you are done just hit here click on download and you want to choose it as an svg file in case you want to take it to another tool like adobe illustrator to do more um editing you could just download as um, svg but if you want you could download as a png so you select the settings we'll just make these stack shapes on top of each other and then download this image and we would have a vectorized image for what we need to do so let me just download it as a png so i can show you how it looks the final product so this is how it looks isn't this stunning so you could do the same thing for the text that we had so let's just see if you could download one of the texts that it did so well so i'll say let's use the good vibes so we we'll use this download we'll take it to clip drop click on open then remove background this is perfect then we download it then take it to vectorizer let's do the next image so this is it here click on open yeah and we are good as you can see this is stunning let me know what you think about this tool in the comment section and if you try it out also you know let's talk about it tell me what you like and what you didn't like and then we could discuss more about this tool as well i'm very excited about this tool so i'll be doing more testing and keep you guys updated as this tool evolves i'm aware that midjourney is currently working on something similar but until then let's make money with this one while we can if you're yet to subscribe to this channel you are really missing out hit the subscribe button and the like button and stay tuned for more exciting videos coming your way